So uh, how do we know that this is coprolite? It's because uh, it just it does look like a bit of rock if you if you didn't know what you were looking for. Well, what you can do is you can find rocks like this in the shape that they are. You slice them in half and you find one of two things. You find little bits of food that's been left inside, little seeds if it's a, it's a plant-eating dinosaur, little bits like that. So that's how you know it's coprolite. And once you've identified what coprolite looks like on the inside and the outside, you can quite easily tell what it is in a lump like this, okay, once you get a bit of a knowledge about it. How do you know it's dinosaur? Very simply, it was buried next to a bit, uh, buried next to a dinosaur. That's a, it's, as, it's as simple as that. Okay. Uh, what you'll find both with humans and with animals, you find this with animals as well. When humans and animals are very, very frightened, they do sometimes do a little poo. Okay. It's, it's just a, a natural fear reaction. It's right with humans. Many people can relate to that. It's right with animals as well. So it was found right next to a dinosaur. So that's how you know it's dinosaur. Same with how you know that this little bit is from a turtle. Okay. Now you coprolite is really, really common. You can identify it quite easily. It's it's all over the world, but most of the time you can't tell whether it's dinosaur, turtle, or a fish or another creature unless you have a little bit of knowledge about the creature. So each creature does its own unique poo, if you like. You can identify, you know, what creatures have been there from, you know, if you know anything about nature, you can go out and find out if you've got badgers or foxes or hedgehogs in your garden just by seeing what kind of poo lies around, okay? You can identify the poo according to the animal. So you can do that to a little bit of an extent, but a lot of time, especially with dinosaurs and stuff, you can't tell exactly which one it's from unless it's actually underneath the dinosaur which it was found.